Hey everybody, Ben with Classic Firearms here. Some of our most popular items and one of the things that we get the most questions asked on through our customer service, our emails and so forth, are AR-15 lowers and upper receivers. Which one should I buy? Which one matches up properly? Which ones are easiest to build on? That type of thing. So we thought we would do a little tutorial today on all things AR-15 as it pertains to the upper and lower receivers. We've got a few things set out here today. Have some new product that you haven't necessarily seen before. We've got some product that we've carried forever and that has always done very well for us. We've got the Mag Tactical Premium Lightweight Lower Receivers that have been relatively new to us, uh, but these have taken off. People seem to like them. They're the hot item right now. So without further ado, Dylan, come on in a little closer so we can look at the table and let me tell the folks a little bit about these products and maybe some recommendations that I have if they choose to build their own rifle using these products. Now I'm gonna let you do that scan. Then we're gonna come back over here and we'll start with the Mag Tactical Premium Lower. Since we have had these in, and I saw these at a trade show, I believe it was the SHOT Show, and just fell in love with them because they're so lightweight. This is a proprietary blend of magnesium and aluminum that makes this receiver about 35% lighter than your standard receivers while maintaining its integrity and its toughness. They are rock solid, nothing tougher on the market. You can't feel what I'm holding in my hand, but it's like you're holding nothing, extremely lightweight. They accept all standard lower receiver parts kits with the exception of they do come with a slightly longer trigger pin because of the mold that they use. The trigger pins recede just a little here so they come with a slightly longer trigger pin. Those do come in the box. No extra charge. They're provided. If for any reason you lose your trigger pins, we have plenty of them here. That's not a problem. Uh, but they do come with that. One of the things about the Mag Tactical Lower, because it is that proprietary blend of magnesium and aluminum, is very dense while maintaining a very light weight. It's almost a contradiction in terms. But because of the density, these do not like to accept anodization. So these are not anodized. These are Cerakoted. Makes a beautiful, hard Cerakote finish, as you can see here. But one of the drawbacks to the Cerakoting is if you're trying to anodize to match to it, then the anodization may turn out a little bit different and you may have a slightly different shade of color. That's going to lead me to our uppers that we have. We have here some uppers that are U.S. commercial contractor uppers. It hurts my feelings that I can't release the name of the folks we get these uppers from. Uh, frankly, if I told you the name of where we get them, you may not know that name, but you would know the name of the rifles that they supply uppers to. This company supplies upper receivers for some of the most high dollar AR-15 rifle builders in the United States. Brand names that you would recognize. Now folks, I'm not talking about four, five, six hundred dollar range AR-15s. We're talking about very high end AR-15s. Because of proprietary agreements they have on their product, we can't tell you their name. We just list them as a U.S. contractor, but we're really blessed to be able to carry their upper. In this case, these particular uppers that we have right now, and Dylan, you can see a box here. These are considered blims, minor cosmetic factory blims. Let me pull a few out and show you. If you can look at this upper and find the blim, I'll eat my hat, but I'm going to point out to you where it is. On these particular uppers, the anodizing set a little heavy, so it was a little thicker coating of the anodizing, and the manufacturer on about 20% of them had to come back in where the locking pins holes are. I don't know if you can see up inside that, Dylan. I'll try to hold it still. Frankly, I don't see it on this one. It's only about 20%, but on some, they had to come back and ream these holes back up to factory spec, so you may see a little shiny I don't see it on that one either. Let me see if I can find one that is. <laughs> I'm not finding here one, folks. We were, we were told they were about 20%. I have found them. 
but on some, this one doesn't have it either, but on some you may see a little bare aluminum inside of the radius of the hole where that's been opened back up due to a heavy anodization. Otherwise, absolutely beautiful. I think it was also sometimes on the latch hole right here, you may see a little shiny spot. In either case, when they're assembled, when they're assembled to the lower, that will be covered up. And because it's aluminum, of course, it never rusts anyway. So you don't have to worry about it, even if it's bare metal. Now, when it comes to our mag tactical lowers, we really recommend this upper. Not that it fits or functions any better, but the color seems to match up very, very well. The anodizing here is a little bit of more light black, such as the mag tactical. You can see how well that matches up. I'll show you with another one. Let's see, do it right, Ben. Not only does the color match up well, Whoop, I found one that's a blim. We actually had that one laid out. See the light spot right there? Now, when you put your dust cover trap door on there, the pin comes through, that's gonna cover up. You could even use a little magic marker to cover up the shininess, but that is the blim. You may see it here, or you may see it at the pin holes on the upper itself. Yep, Dylan, can you see inside that one? I don't know if the light will let it reflect. There's a little aluminum inside there, maybe so. Okay, but that's the extent of the blim you're looking at. This one happens to be T-marked. In this receiver, we have them both in T-marked and non-T-marked. I think the T-marked receivers are five bucks more. So we're running these at $39.99, $44.99 on the T-marked. And Dylan, if you'll come back in here, we're running them under this product code. Again, folks, any receiver works. I'm even going to show it to you here with the Anderson receiver. That's the Anderson receiver. You see the Anderson receiver matches up. The upper matches up to this lower receiver by Mag Tactical beautifully as far as fit and form. But the finish is a little different. And that'll take us over to Anderson. Our most popular lower receiver by far historically has been Anderson Manufacturing. Anderson's a huge name in the industry. We have carried their lowers both in the upper of uh, the open trigger style as well as the closed trigger style and their uppers for quite a long time. Historically one of our best sellers day in and day out. As you can see if you choose to go all Anderson uh, get it right the finish on these, because they do their own anodizing, finish on these always matches up beautifully. So there's nothing wrong. That's a great way to go. If you don't know about the open trigger lowers, when you get a lower parts kit to complete out your lower, it will have the latch that completes out and, and closes the bottom part of that trigger. That comes with it regardless. It's in every of the lower parts kit. If you get a closed receiver lower, of course it's not necessary. Let's see, Dylan, what else do we need to talk about? Once again, I want to show them the matchup on this. Since we just showed color match, I know that's important to folks. Color match. With this setup, you have consistently a lighter weight because of that mag tactical lower. And these are a limited time product on these at a great price point. We were able to buy them at a super price, but totally up to the individual. Both of them work great. Both of them build great rifles. Either way, when you buy a lower, you will need a lower part set to complete it out. Most of ours come with the pistol grip. This one is by Mag Tactical. Come on back in a little closer, Dylan. This one is by Anderson with all the parts and the pistol grip. We also have the Anderson upgraded, which comes, is that a stainless steel? I believe it's a stainless steel trigger. I think so. Comes with the stainless steel, either stainless steel or nickel trigger. It will be in our ad, but you can get the upgrade with the stainless trigger through Anderson. And we have, for those of you looking for it, this is an imported lower part set. 
it's our LPK. We call it the improved part set because as you see the, pi the pistol grip has the wrap around. It comes with an improved pistol grip for your comfort. Last thing you need to know, upper receivers. All of your uppers, if you want to complete them out, will come uh, stripped like you see here. You'd want to get a finish kit. So we have the forward assist. We sell ours together along with the dust cover kit. We have a couple of options on the site that you can buy those to complete out anything you want to make. All right, folks, having said that, let me tell you a little bit about the market and then I'm going to shut up. This is a really good time to buy some of this product. This is not a sales pitch. When things are good, we try to tell you they're good. When things are bad, we try to tell you they're bad. Here's what happened in the industry. Just after the election, a lot of the distributors, a lot of manufacturers were really stocked up on product. They were kind of betting that the other candidate was going to win. And we all know if that happened that there would be a mad rush on gun sales. When the other candidate didn't win, there was no mad rush on gun sales. Everybody was stocked up. A lot of people had overstock, so prices went down. And we've seen lower prices on military style firearms, components, and accessories for probably the last three to four months ever since the election. Well, that grace period of time seems to be coming to a close. We're seeing the curve has kind of hit the bottom now. A lot of the overstock is sold out and manufacturers are saying, hey, we can't continue to sell at these prices because at some point we have to make a profit or we're going to go out of business. So we're starting to see it bottom out and start back up. Whatever we have in stock, we have in stock at the prices we have. We don't know how long that's going to maintain. We are seeing an upswing in the marketplace as far as cost, and the manufacturers sell pricing and so forth. So again, really good time to buy on anything AR-15, AK related, anything militaristic. If you want to get a good deal, I'm not a financial analyst and these things do change, but I've never seen them lower and I think the only way they have to go is up. So if you want to take advantage of it, I would take advantage of it now. If we can help you with some of this fine product, sure love to do it. We appreciate your business. And as always, thank you for being with us at www.classicfirearms.com.